Luz, the city at the foot of the Pyrenees, is a byword for high tech, alongside its flagship industry, Airbus. The search is underway here for ways to use energy generated by people. One of the driving forces behind this is Mayor's advisor Alexandre Maciel, who works on energy and innovation. The Trotter Lake project is very innovative. Normally a city consumes energy, but with this project we want to make the city a producer of energy. The principle of converting movement to power is well known. Now in Toulouse they want to convert human mechanical energy to electricity. They call this energy harvesting. We started out from a first simple trial, the reuse of electric footplates that had been used in Dutch discos, and which were then used in an experiment to connect them to lighting in the public realm in order to see how much electricity they could produce. We established that a person, when walking, can produce the amount of energy required to light his way. Per step, a person produces about 6 watts of energy or enough to light a bulb for about one second. That is not a great deal. However, if you could collect the energy from all the steps in a pedestrian zone, that could be enough to light the Christmas decorations in the shopping area. This would kill two birds with one stone, encouraging the most environmentally friendly means of transport, whilst at the same time returning energy to the system. And the economic aspects of this equation are not insubstantial. Around half of an average city's electricity bill is for street lighting. Two major problems remain to be resolved. How to maximize the energy gain in the system and also how to protect against electrical storms and vandalism. We need about two years before the product will be ready for market. Obviously it has to be something that can fit satisfactorily into the public realm as well as producing a useful amount of electricity. The message is that we have to realize that today there are many energy sources other than those we have used up until now. Water power, atomic energy, solar energy and so on. And that the city itself can become an energy producer. The evidence for this is the current very great interest of the world's scientific community in the topic of winning back lost or wasted energy, and in doing so at the local level, for example in order to power street lighting in public spaces.